Hello viewers, my name is Tessie and you're welcome to Tess Creation. Today I'll be showing you how I achieved this lovely and beautiful wrap skirt. Okay, it's a wrap pencil skirt. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. It really means a lot to me if you do. Thank you. If you want to see how I achieve it, please keep watching. Okay. Also like and share. Okay. So this is the pattern I'll be using for this skirt. It's already made pattern. I already have the pattern. So I, what I did was to draft another one because I'll be using two parts of that front pattern. Okay, as you can see, it's two. I'll be using the two to cut this skirt. Okay, please. If you want to make this skirt, you need a two pattern. You need to create a pattern before making it so that not so that you will not waste your fabric okay because if you are cutting this directly on your material you're going to waste your fabric so in order to uh, in, uh, for you to get this style you have first of all get the midpoint of the down part of your skirt pattern okay your front skirt pattern my mid, the midpoint of my skirt pattern is seven because the length is 14 so the half of it will be seven so right now i'm going to be drawing a line from my right that down to that point okay to where i ticked i'll draw a straight line from there down to where i ticked okay just like that and i'm going to be cutting it out okay so you see if you cut this in your fabric you are going to be wasting a lot of material that part is going to be wet. Okay? it's preferably or advisable to use a pattern paper when making this wrap skirt okay so i'll be repeating the same thing on the other parts of the skirt So I'll just place the one I've already cut on it and then press it down. I'll cut it out now. Sorry guys, my camera stopped so I went to set it back. Okay, I'm going to be tracing the pattern on my skirt, on my fabric, sorry. This is how it's going to be looking after making it. Okay, I'm just checking it out. This is the shape you will get after cutting. So I'll place it on my material, on my Ankara and trace it. So I'll be using two colors of Ankara. It's the same design but it's different color. I'll place my uh, pattern on it and then I'll cut. I'll use pin to secure it so that it will not shift, okay? Now I'm cutting it out. Okay, now the right part of our skirt front is ready, okay? The 
the right panel is ready i'm going to use the left panel pattern and then trace the other part okay So I'll be using pin to secure it. The reason is for your pattern or your Ankara not to shift when cutting it. Okay. So I'll be cutting it out. Okay, now I'll be using the um, back part to trace the back part of the skirt, okay? I'll be folding my Ankara, my fabric into two. Because it's the same thing, so I'll just fold it into two and then trace it out. It's not as different as the back, the front part, okay? So now we're cutting it out. Okay, so now I have cut this cat um, back part out. So I'll be using, I'll be cutting it, I'll be dividing it into two because of my zip. I added one inch zip allowance on my skirt pattern. So I'll be tearing that part the zip side and after which i'm going to be cutting my lining i'll cut my lining exactly the same way i cut the skirt the only difference there is that the length is not going to be as long as the skirt i'll be minusing one inch for the folding of the skirt okay sorry guys i was actually videoing it but i did not know that my camera was not capturing it so i just place the lining on the front part of my ankara and then sew it round and then turn it out okay so right now i have finished sewing it i've ironed it as well so this is how i'm going to place it i'm going to use pin to secure it i will sew from the waist down to where i want my slit to start okay from where i'm holding now i'll sew it down to where i want my slit to start okay down to that side And the back part i've also torn it i've also is lining to turn it and i'm going to be fixing the zip okay this is the two back parts guys so i'll be using a zip skirt zip on it that's the zip i'll be attaching on it okay and then i've also cut my um I've also cut my skirt band okay the band measurement is four and a half inches four inches for my um, band and then half inch for the seam I also use paper stay to iron it half of it okay I use paper stay on half of it I'm going to show you the final look so guys this is the final look I've finished making this skirt isn't it lovely try it out and also leave a comment for me below telling me what you want me to make next and also like share and comment on what you want me to do next on my video okay and please don't forget to subscribe it will really mean a lot to me subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up that is where i'll be attaching my hook bye